I'm twisted, I'm contradicted, keep him addicted, lies on his lips, I lick it. Unique, that's what you are, stilettos kicking vintage crystal off the bar, category, bad, bitch, I'm the bar, alien superstar, whip. It has come to my motherfucking goddamn day attention that comedian Tiffany Haddish and her comedian constituent Ari Spears um, have a case against them. Someone is alleging that they forced them to do sexually explicit activity, which is resulting in a sexually assaulting lawsuit. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, Tiffany Haddish is a comedian. Uh, her come-up story is very inspiring. She made it out of the trenches, um, and she has made a success for herself. We first saw her in Girls Trip, but I fancy the role that she played in the Madam C.J. Walker Netflix special that was on Netflix, of course. She does a really good job with the acting that she does. Comedian-wise, I'm not a fan of goofy humor. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of goofy humor. Uh, I would prefer Jamie Foxx over Martin Lawrence. Does that make sense? That's kind of where my humor is attuned to, and I also have a very sick, sick of humor. Like, if I think of something blowing up, I laugh. So, uh, you know, I, I might not be the, the best judge of character when it comes to comedians or the, the goodness of them. And I also saw her in a documentary uh, where they talked about the rise of black comedians in Hollywood as well, where everybody had to sign the wall or got their picture on the wall and stuff like this. It's where the comedians got their start. And she was a young buck coming up through there. Her story is very, very inspirational. Um, and I actually, you know, here recently, she came at an interview or during an award show who called her Dolce & Gabbana a costume. Tiffany's also one of us. She's a humble girl who still uh, keeps the outfits that she wears. I mean, I think she wore one of those dresses at every award show that she was at because she was able to finally afford it. So, very humbling actress she is. Uh, Comedian-wise, I ain't the best one to, to, to judge that. Uh, but I am uh, the best one to read her to see if these allegations are true. I'm going to go ahead and read the article as to uh, what, what uh, was being alleged as of right now. This is by The Shade Room. The comedians are being sued by two siblings going by Jane Doe and John Doe, who claim they've been traumatized for life as a result of allegedly being groomed when they were children. The boy also claims to have been molested by both defendants. In the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the older sister says she was just 14 when Haddish gains her trust and convinced her to film a sexually suggestive video with Haddish teaching her how to mimic fellatio for the skit. For those of y'all who don't know what fellatio it is, it means get head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got charged with that with um, the allegations get even more disturbing. In the suit, she claims her younger brother was only seven when Haddish brought him to the home where Spears and Haddish molested him while filming a funny or die video titled Through a Pedophile's Eyes. Okay, Tiffany's attorney, Andrew Brettler, says the lawsuit is purely an extortion attempt, telling us plaintiff's mother's Treza Morris has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Mrs. Haddish for several years. Okay, so what I feel is happening right now, I did do some more research on this, um, and she's done this 14 times. The, the person who's accusing Tiffany Haddish has done this about 14 times, and she only started piping up once Tiffany Haddish became famous. Uh, this is one of the fears that I have in um, Rising to Fame, that people have like kept records on things that they can spin. Uh, I don't want to believe this. I, I really don't. I do feel like, I mean, it's just like with Ricky Martin. We know we just read that and we just got that correct too, where Ricky Martin uh, was supposed to had, had had some sexually activity with his nephew and then all of a sudden the charges are dropped. Um, and, and my audience was saying that, okay, well, he paid, he paid him off, okay? Um, do I feel like this is an extortion attempt? I think it smells like one. Okay, um, but I am gonna gonna see what the cards say. But one thing I do have to say real quick before we even get started with the reading is Tiffany, please get that mole removed off your goddamn face. Every time I see you, that mole is growing teeth. That mole is growing eyes. That mole is out of control. Now, Janet Jackson got a mole, and I like her mole. I think Marilyn Monroe actually planted a mole on her face as a beauty mark, and I think certain mark marks are beautiful. But that mole is getting out of control. Okay, so before I read anything, that mole has got to go. Okay, I need to sign a petition. I can't watch you in anything because the mo is so signature that all I see is mo. It ain't nothing wrong with having no mo, okay? But that mo is just one. It's just one and it's growing in size. You can healthily get that mo removed, Tiffany, at this point. All I see is mo. And I'm, I, I, 
You know, and I'm I'm a deep creature. I'm a deep thinker. You know, I like to think that I I I I see past the physical, but that mold is getting big, Tiff. That mold is about to be a problem, Tiff. Please get that mold removed. Now let's go ahead and see what the tarot has for Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears. Um, and I did again prior to me actually going in and reading this shit real quick. I did do some research. The video that they're talking about was removed shortly after the discovery of the video. I um, don't have any footage of the video. I looked for the video through a pedophile's eyes or whatever. And I, I didn't see it. Uh, would I put it past anybody in Hollywood to do some old messy shit, some old scary shit? No. So I'm on the fence with this. I just hope it's not true. Let's see exactly what is going on. So the first question would be, let's just make it simple. Did, did Tiffany, is Tiffany Haddish guilty of what she is being alleged of? 